as you can see, shaft play is pretty bad on this turbo. So we're going for a Pulsar turbo for the 240. This is the PSR 3582 0.72 compressor wheel 0.82 turbine wheel exhaust housing which I actually already have on the vehicle we'll go ahead and look at that right now so this is the new housing I've already put on my downpipe I got the O2 I love this setup right here because it gives me a lot of room off of the brake booster like you can see here it gives me a lot of room so I'm not up against it anymore. I gotta trim everything here. I gotta cut this down. The way it sits on the uh, compressor is not ideal. <clears throat> but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I know it's been a long time since I posted any videos. Sorry for that, you guys. The boost crew is back. You can see why a lot of what has happened over the past few months hasn't been filmed because turbo shaft play is not not ideal um, I got everything situated wiring harness wise um, I have done a first start but we're gonna consider this the first start having the new turbo on but I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me putting the turbo on and then we'll get right into the uh, meat and potatoes of the entire situation so let's go turbo is installed looking really good man that is such a difference such such a difference to elaborate the only thing I can't do with it right now is put the reference for the boost solenoid to the wastegate so it's just gonna be on spring pressure whatever the spring is I think it's 13 pounds so I've already primed it Put some oil down in the feed, spun the turbine a little bit, let the oil go down in. Got everything hooked up. Like I said, the only thing is the reference, which you can kind of see it right back here. Kind of hiding. later. Alright, let's listen to the turbo this time.
get it to clear up. So just lay out and listen. You can hear it clear a little more each time. So just a little quick video for you guys wanted to get this turbo and stuff on here and you know let it run see see what all I have left to do now um, the one thing that I did notice is that the welds did not hold very well on my IAT bung so I'm gonna have to go back over that uh, maybe I might have to get a steel bung to make it work better um, seems like the aluminum is just not I don't know it's not bonding when I do the weld it's not bonding also considering that I'm doing MIG flux MIG flux with no gas is not it's not good I need to get a TIG welder to finish that off and actually make it look good um, but I feel like today was an accomplishment you know they always say spend an hour a day on your your project you'll get further than if you try to do it all in one lump sum so but yep, on that note, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I'm going to go grab some grub, maybe drink a brew or two, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.